Yes, any, any questions here before I move forward? Hi, sir. Mm -hmm. Good, please. Yes, sir, file is in another repository. How should we add that? So if the file is in another repository, let's say just two repositories out here. Repositories, let's say, let's set this out, choose the build repository. See here, triggers, let's go scroll down. And let's see, let's check this out. You can also do that. If it's in the same, let's say it's in the same organization, you can simply say steps and under that, just say check out and just go ahead and give this repository name out here. So in my case, infrastructure, I'll say main branch. If I clone this out, I'll just need to copy this out here. I'll just need to, let's say, go ahead into my pipeline, put a step here. Telling check out and give the link to your repository as such. So just go ahead, you'll just go ahead and you know, kind of grab that particular, let's say repository and grab all the files inside the repository and make it available for you. So just the checkout. That's it. Uh, does it answer your question? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So just put a checkout out here and you are good there. But to ease it out, to make sure that this is easier, I just put the file inside the same repository so that it doesn't really confuse a lot of people. And here we go. We have the tasks and all these things up here as such right now. Yes, any more questions here, guys? All right, so now there are a couple of tasks which are spending for my end from the release end, from the release infrastructure. Now I went ahead, I made sure to go ahead and give, okay, let's say, made sure to go ahead and give, let's say, the build. And now I'm coming down to the release, and this is what is spending right now for me. Okay, let me just click this out as no. So now I need to go ahead, create my infrastructure using the ARM template. And before that, again, if you want to call a key vault, you can do that. In my case, I did not create the key vault, so I'm just skipping that. I would just go ahead and use an Azure DevOps library to go ahead and give my passwords and etc. So I need to create the infrastructure, then go ahead and deploy my code, and then go ahead and deploy the SQL files. These are the pending action items from mine. So what I'm going to do is let's put this away and let's scroll down. And now I'm going to add one more stage out here. Okay. So I'll just come here, say enter. And take my cursor exactly under a different stage right now. I'll say hyphen stage. I'll say deployment. And in here, I would now say, what is the pool that I want to deploy this on? And again, I would maintain my configuration. I would say VM image, I'll say Windows latest. I'm mentioning the pool. And now this is a deployment job. And deployments are slightly different. But again, in order to, let's say, create my infrastructure, I need my entire variables out here to be declared. So what I'm going to do is that instead of declaring each and every variable, I would now like to refer my variable groups. So if I go in here, I have variable groups for development. Again, if you check this out, it has the app service plan name, the location, SKU, SQL server name, everything in place. So I would say, I'll just go ahead and I'll say this is deployment to dev instead of let's say going ahead and saying uh, deployment just deployment I can say deployment to dev or you can just name the stage as development and inside the variable groups say hyphen space 
name of the group out here this development just say this is the development group that i want to let's say go ahead and use and earlier if you check this out i declared my variables in the form of a key value pair but right now i am not declaring the variables i am rather using the entire group as such and then i'll just go ahead and i'll now say the jobs and inside the job i'll say this is not a job but this is not a build job but this is a deployment and when you do a deployment you'll need to mention a couple of things like what is your deployment strategy and what are the steps and etc so let's come here under this let's say display name i'll say dev deployment or development and let's go ahead and use something called as a strategy and under the strategy under the strategy i'll say it is run once deploy and i'll say now go ahead give the steps so these are the additional things that you need to just mention there's something called a rolling strategy a canary strategy uh, let's say divert the traffic and all these things but the most preferred strategy when you go ahead with azure devops would be to just say go ahead and let's say uh, run once out here and the first step that i'm going to do is i'll say something called download so i'll have to download the artifacts that is produced by my build pipeline so firstly i'll say please don't download anything just go ahead and uh, don't do anything out here don't do the normal download because i do not have the control on which folder this downloads this in and etc and now i will add one more task here Link download build artifacts i'll say current build specific artifacts i'll say artifact name is drop this is what you need to download and it's telling download everything into something called as system dot artifact directory just add this and it's now going to go ahead into the current build pipeline look for an artifact called drop because that's what your pipeline is actually building out and it will download it into this particular directory called system dot artifacts directory out here so it'll just download everything because until here was your build from here it's a different stage you need to now carry forward these artifacts into let's say this particular stage out here so that's the reason i'm telling you okay fine please download this particular folder called drop into this particular artifact staging directory and i'll say enter i'll come here and add my next task which is the arm template creation so i'll say arm and now it's saying what is the resource manager connection and i'll use my existing service connection out here i'll say this is a subscription that i have and now it's asking me what is a resource group again the resource group is passed as a variable in the variable group so i'll come here i'll say dollar open close rg name says location location also is i think a parameter yes I'll, it's a parameter so i'll just put in dollar location I'll just scroll down it's telling where is your template right now again the template is being downloaded in this particular folder so i'll say this is the folder inside which i have something called drop inside which look at your pipeline okay this is not one if you look at the pipeline you will get to know what is the name of the template it's let's say downloading so here inside the artifact section inside the drop I have something called SQL web, web SQL dot JSON. So I'll say this is web SQL dot JSON JSON. And then I have something known as parameters. I need to pass in all my parameters out here. Like let's go into the template. Let's look at what are all the parameters the template requires. So firstly, SQL server name and in my let's say variable group it is mentioned as sql server name only so i'll say hyphen sql server name and dollar open close sql server name 
I'm referring all my template parameters as hyphen the parameter name space whatever is my let's say value that I have declared in my variable groups for example SQL server name out here second thing SQL DB name I'll just copy this and say SQL DB name and now I want to check what is let's say in the in the library so this is SQL server name and I'll say this is okay where is my DB name out here do I don't have a DB okay sysplan server etc okay I don't think I have a DB name that I mentioned somewhere so let me add this out say SQL DB name the demo DB and let me copy this out so DB name is something that I oh I mentioned referring out here so I'll just say this is demo DB again if you if you have any spaces and etc best to go ahead and pass this in quotes but parameter I ASP name absolute plan name and I have the absolute plan name as ASP name out here so I'll just put this ASP name in quotes put a dollar open close parenthesis ASP name out here then I have the web app name open close parenthesis in brackets preferred and check the variable name out but uh, the web name again so I'll just place this as web app name finally let's check this out I have a SQL username SQL username out here place a SQL username and let's see what is a SQL username being passed in all likely it should be passed as a password or something password so I'll just put this as password in quotes again finally let's check this out okay username okay username should be something like username let's see this is username let's copy this and then the password comes into play let's say password admin password this is as admin password and password from the library and in a YAML you'll have to do this manually at least for one stage so that's the reason uh, YAML is a little trickier when you go ahead and let's say write this out in a classic it was telling you what are all the variables but in YAML you'll have to check what are the variables and then go ahead and do this finally the SKU name again open close go into your libraries say this is the SKU name copy and paste this out incremental mode good enough uh, make sure the cursor is under the task this is where it is I say add now I'm going ahead adding my entire task and let's check this out it says deployment scope is resource group service connection it says subscription ID is what the resource group where it's deploying the location where it's deploying linked artifact where is the artifact what are the parameters that you're overriding SQL DB name ASP name and etc with proper spaces and then the mode here is incremental and if you want you can just go ahead give something known as a display name out here same as say creating the infrastructure this was my ERM template deployment task now comes my web app deployment again I'm referring to a classic release pipeline that I'm doing here. So let's go open the release. This is my classic release pipeline. I'll just say edit the pipeline out here. Again, it was a keyword, so I'm avoiding the keyword. I'm going ahead with the, the create infrastructure. Again, if you have a release pipeline already, save you YAML. This is going to give you all the steps on what are all the variables. And how did you go ahead and give the step out here again? You can avoid the variable because you are calling, let's say, your variable group out here. So you can just copy this out and paste it out out there. And again, you'll if you copy and paste this out, right? You'll have to change the directory from where you need to download the artifacts and etc. So which becomes a little tricky. That's the reason I just went ahead and read, I have written it down. Then you have the app service deployment. 
again if you check this out just going and doing the steps out there so i'll just go ahead go back and i'll say app service deploy inside this subscription again htm app service name coming from my library which is a web app name web app name scroll down package or folder now your package in the folder right it's under again system dot artifact directory so i'll just copy this out instead of system dot default working directory i'm saying it is system dot directory and this is drop inside that i have this particular let's say artifact that got downloaded called something dot zip so i'll say this is star dot zip i'm good with that and i'll say add now i am going ahead deploying it on a web app so i just go ahead with the name of this task it's app service deployment finally the sql task comes into play which is this at least five plane out here view yaml it's just going ahead telling a sql server deployment out here calling the name of the sql server username password and extra and what is a sql file of course so i'll just go ahead i'll say database i have an azure sql database deployment task again service connection authentication type sql server again sql server is mentioned inside this particular let's say variable group and see installer open close sql server name and again dollar open close sql db name login username password i'll say this password out here and deployment package it's i'll tell it's a sql uh, file out here and it's telling where is a script file again system dot artifact stage artifact directory out here all your system dot artifact directory you have a folder called drop inside that you have some sql file dot sql file out here and again place your cursor here make sure that before you adding place a cursor i'm going ahead adding this task with a display name called sql file deployment this is my pipeline right now which is first doing a build now you have an end-to-end -end definition it's doing a build where it's telling okay fine this is the windows latest image is the build and extra and all these are the build jobs copy files and all these things out till the publish artifacts then you have a new stage called development this stage is same thing like your stage in the release pipeline then you have the display name then you have the strategy this is something that got additionally added then i'm saying skipping the downloads i'm downloading my own artifacts into the system artifact directory from there i'm adding the rm template task passing the very uh, values again again very importantly you will have to understand how to use a variable group in azure devops this is the prerequisite of it and then i went ahead said app service deployment said sql file deployment and then go ahead save this out into a different feature branch hi sir sorry for interruption mm -hmm. good please so in, in sql server name i think we have to put in fully domain name sir dns <laughs> the sql server name out here uh that's yeah, right sir. let's see did i put a fully okay okay i thought i put a fully seek i mean i i thought i put a full name out here that's a good catch so sql server name would be dot databases dot windows dot net let me check this out if i put this in right way it's dot database dot windows dot net okay Windows uh, dot comma four four double three. That's fine. Let's add this out. Yes, this looks good. Fine, good good catch out here. I thought I put in a fully qualified domain name out here directly, so that's the reason I just missed this. Yes, let's save this. I'll say Kiran Infra Push. 
and say adding in profiles sorry adding ARM template deployment and let me go ahead now look at my pull requests I have a pull request right now I link my work item again all this is something that we as DevOps engineers have to do 